wondered what would happen if you got struck by lightning? Let me introduce you to Joe, a regular Joe if you will. He's your everyday, average guy, living a life that doesn't deviate much from the norm. He's got a 9 to 5 job, a cat named Whiskers, and an affinity for hiking on the weekends. Now, it's on one of these hiking trips that something extraordinary happens. Joe, on top of a hill, basking in the glory of nature, when suddenly, a bolt of lightning strikes. Yes, you heard it right. Our ordinary Joe gets struck by lightning. So what happens when a human body comes in direct contact with such a powerful electric discharge? Well, scientifically speaking, it's not pretty. A lightning bolt can reach temperatures of around 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. The tremendous heat, light, and electricity can cause severe burns and damage to the organs. Most people who are struck by lightning, unfortunately, don't live to tell the tale. The human body simply isn't equipped to handle that kind of energy, but our Joe, he's a fighter. Despite the odds, he survives this shocking event. It's nothing short of a miracle, really. His survival defies the usual scientific expectations and leaves us pondering the resilience of the human spirit. But here's where things take an interesting turn. After this electrifying incident, Joe begins to notice some changes. He's not just the same old Joe anymore. He's not just the man who survived a lightning strike. There's something different about him, something he can't quite put his finger on. But after this incident, Joe noticed something different about himself. Imagine waking up one day and realizing that you have superpowers. A scenario straight out of a comic book, right? But for our friend Joe, this is his new reality. Just an ordinary guy, Joe's life took an extraordinary turn when he was struck by lightning. Now he's noticing some rather unusual happenings. Ordinary objects seem to dance to his tunes, moving in sync with his gestures. It's as if he's conducting an orchestra of inanimate objects. But that's not all. Joe's hearing has taken a sharp turn into the extraordinary. He's picking up distant conversations, whispers from across the street, the rustle of leaves in a far-off park. His ears have become a radar, picking up signals from miles away. And let's not forget the speed. One moment he's here, the next, he's there. Joe's running faster than ever before, outpacing cars, bicycles, even the wind. It's like he's got supercharged engines for legs. So, what's going on here? Well, it's possible that the lightning strike altered something within Joe's body. Maybe it jolted his nervous system, enhancing his abilities. Or perhaps it mutated his genes, gifting him these superhuman powers. Whatever the cause, it's clear that Joe has become something more than human. But let's remember, this isn't just about the thrill of having superpowers. It's about the implications of it, the changes it brings, and the challenges it presents. Joe's life has been turned upside down and inside out. Just beginning to understand what that means. Superpowers aren't just for heroes in comic books. They're for ordinary people like Joe, who stumble into the extraordinary and they bring with them a whole new set of rules. Joe's world has changed, and he must change with it. With great power comes great responsibility, as they say, and Joe is about to discover exactly what that means. So stick around as we delve deeper into Joe's new reality and explore the fascinating world of superpowers. What would you do if you suddenly acquired superpowers? It's a question that has probably crossed your mind at some point. Now picture Joe, a regular guy from New York City, who, after being struck by a lightning bolt during a freak thunderstorm, finds himself blessed with superhuman abilities. Joe, like many of us, has grown up reading comic books and watching superhero movies. He's familiar with the age-old adage, with great power comes great responsibility, and he takes this to heart. In the beginning, Joe is hesitant, unsure of his newfound powers. He's afraid of the damage he might cause if he loses control. But then, he sees a car about to crash into a pedestrian. Without a second thought, Joe uses his lightning speed to pull the pedestrian to safety. It's a close call, but everyone's safe. That's when Joe realizes the potential of his powers. They can be used to help people, to save lives. And so, Joe decides to use his powers for good. He becomes a sentinel of his city, preventing accidents, saving people from fires, stopping criminals in their tracks. He's not wearing a cape or a mask. He's just Joe, a guy who's trying to make his city a safer place. However, 
The possession of superpowers isn't just about saving the day. It's about making difficult decisions, about determining what's right and what's wrong. It's about understanding the potential consequences of every action. It's about the responsibility of using these powers wisely, ethically, and for the benefit of others. Joe's story prompts us to ponder on the moral implications of having superpowers. It's not all fun and games. It's not about glory or fame. It's about using one's gifts to make a difference in the world, about stepping up when the situation demands it, about being a force for good. So if you ever find yourself imbued with superpowers, remember Joe's story. Remember that these powers are not just a gift, but also a responsibility, a responsibility to use them for the greater good, to become not just a superhero in your own right, but a beacon of hope for those in need. Joe was becoming a real life superhero, being a but every action has its consequences. As Joe began to embrace his newfound abilities, a dark side started to emerge. His body couldn't keep up with the demands of his superpowers. He started experiencing extreme fatigue, so much so that he could barely keep his eyes open. His head pounded like a drum, the constant throb of pain making it hard to think. Worst of all was the loss of control over his powers. There were times when he'd unintentionally set things ablaze or cause an electrical outage simply because he couldn't rein in his abilities. Now, let's explore the potential scientific explanations behind these harrowing side effects. Remember the lightning strike that granted Joe his powers? Well, it seems to have taken a toll on his body. Lightning is a powerful force of nature, carrying approximately 1 billion volts of electricity. When it struck Joe, it fundamentally altered his physiological makeup, giving him the ability to manipulate electricity. However, his body, being human, was not built to handle such immense power. Imagine running a high voltage through a small bulb. It's bound to burn out sooner or later. That's essentially what's happening to Joe. His body is the bulb, struggling to contain and control the high voltage running through it. The extreme exhaustion could be a result of his body constantly working overtime to keep up with the energy demands of his powers. The headaches might be due to the constant electrical activity in his brain, a side effect of the lightning strike. The loss of control over his powers, on the other hand, could be a consequence of his body's desperate attempt to regulate the immense energy coursing through it. So while Joe's superpowers might seem like a dream come true, they come with a heavy price. The human body isn't designed to handle the aftermath of a lightning strike, let alone the constant manipulation of electricity. The consequences of his actions started catching up with him, forcing him to face a reality he hadn't considered. Joe had to make a difficult decision. In the end, what matters is the choices we make. As our tale draws to a close, Joe decides it's time to hang up his cape, to put a halt to the lightning that courses through his veins. He chooses to return to his ordinary life, a life that now seems so different given the extraordinary things he's experienced. Like a bolt from the blue, Joe's life was forever changed. Yet he opts for a quieter path, a path where he's no longer the puppet of his powers, but their master. He's seen the potential harm, not just to himself, but to those around him. And he realizes that with great power comes great responsibility. Joe's story serves as a reminder that we all possess the potential for the extraordinary, not in the form of superpowers, but in our ability to make choices, to determine our own destinies. So ask yourself, would you be a hero or would you choose a normal life? Think about it.